Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. One of the best ways to improve your mixing skills is through practice. Lots and lots and lots of practice. But if you're running a home studio or a small project studio, having material to practice with during a pandemic can prove difficult. Fortunately, there's lots of resources online that provide multi-tracks for practicing your mixing skills. Unfortunately, several of those sites are terrible and the multi-tracks they provide are not that good. In today's video, we'll take a look at two different sites that I like to use for quality multi-tracks to help you improve your mixing skills. And I'll also show you how to unpack those multi-tracks and load them into Reaper for mixing. Let's take a look. The first site we'll look at is Cambridge Music Technology. Cambridge Music Technology is an excellent resource not just for multi-tracks but also basic lessons on mixing and different concepts that'll help you to improve your mixes. If we scroll down to the multi-track library, we'll see that they have a pretty substantial collection, with over 400 projects spanning various genres. Let's take a look at rock, punk, and metal. And with each project, you can listen to an excerpt of the track, the full track, download the mixes, and also download the multi-tracks. The files that you download from Cambridge are for educational use only, so please do not download any of these to use in your profiles or to show off your work, but just use these to work on your mixing skills. Once you've gone through and found a track that you like, click the link underneath Full Multitrack and that will download a zip file containing all the tracks that you need. The quality level of the tracks that you get from Cambridge vary greatly. Some of them may be recorded in home studios, while others may be recorded in high-end studios. It's a good idea to experiment with tracks coming from various sources because you never know what you're going to get as a remote mixer. Sometimes you may receive excellent quality tracks from your clients, and other times it may be things that were recorded in less than desirable settings. Developing the skills to work with tracks of less than stellar quality will help you to stand out and establish yourself as a mixing engineer. Another site that I like to check out is Telefunken Electroacoustic. Like Cambridge Music Technology, Telefunken provides these multi-track files for educational purposes. Instead of being recorded one at a time, the bulk of the projects that you'll find on Telefunken's website were recorded with the band all playing at the same time. This is a great way to work on polishing up live performances and making them sound their best. Near the top of the page, there's a link to go to their YouTube channel where you can preview all of the sessions, and each of the sessions will have a link to the multi-tracks in their description. Let's click on the link and take a look. There's a track on here from Balkan Brothers that I like, so I'll do a search for Balkan Brothers. And this is the one here, So High, So Low. Let's take a listen. Take a look in the description. You can see they've got a link back to the Telefunken website to get the full multi-tracks. We'll click the link, then scroll down and find the Balkan Brothers track. Download the multi-track. To download from the Telefunken library, you do have to put in your email address and register for their newsletter. It's worth the discomfort. I've put in my email address and now I can download the files. Once this is done downloading, we'll come back and unpack the zip file and set up a project in Reaper to start mixing. I've got the multi-tracks downloaded for the Balkan Brothers song, and that comes across as a zip file, so first I'll need to unzip those. Now I've got the files extracted, so let's take a look at what's in this folder. We've got 20 tracks for the project, and most of these are labeled to show which microphone they used when they come from Telefunken. Let's open up Reaper and get these imported and take a listen. I have my default project settings configured in a way that keeps my projects neatly organized. Let's take a look at those when we create this new project. I have mine configured to save the project when I create a new one. It's important to create a subdirectory for each project in order to keep the project neatly organized. I like to check mark move all media into project directory as well. We'll call this project Balkan Brothers So High. Some projects that you download may have mix notes to include tempo and any information that might be relevant to the project. In this case, the project doesn't have any tempo notes, so we'll just leave it at the default and go ahead and import the files. You can import the tracks into Reaper by dragging and dropping. So I'll open up my folder, select all the tracks, and then left click and drag into the Reaper interface. Since I dragged multiple tracks, I get a pop-up dialog that asks me if I want these on separate tracks or single tracks. I'd like these to be separate. And you can see that it's copied the files into the project folder. We'll give it a moment to build the peaks. You may notice that all of my tracks have different colors. These come from the SWS extension Auto Color. Check the video above for information on how to set up Reaper to automatically color tracks to your liking. Let's take a look at my project settings. We'll click on File and Project Settings. Under the Media tab, 
I have a relative path set called audio, and that ensures that all the media items that I just imported get put into a subfolder inside the project folder called audio. I have this saved as my project default so that all of my projects will always do this. If I open up my file explorer now and go to the project directory, you'll see that there is an audio folder, and all of those files that we imported are now contained inside of the project. At this point, I usually would do organization and take a look at the track names and rename them if necessary. Tracks can be renamed by double-clicking the track title in the track control panel, or in the mix control panel, or you can click on view, track manager, and you can rename tracks in here as well. You can organize these tracks and rename them to fit any type of convention that you may have to keep your project organized. If we take a listen to the project exactly as imported, it probably won't sound good with everything at Unity. But that's where your mixing skills come in. Now that you know how to import these multi-tracks for practice, it's time to get mixing. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link below. I like coffee. I like the Misfits too.